All right, folks, so I'm not really going to show a whole lot on here, but I went on and started taking this side apart here. I'm getting ready to pull this exhaust manifold off. It's not even bolted up to the exhaust. So we got a couple bolts there. Got six bolts to get out there. And uh, we never even torqued this exhaust manifold to the cylinder head either. So we still got a good gasket right there. So that worked out pretty good. So, but I normally don't like using that style of gasket because. You know, you can kind of see the gasket there. And you know, to me, it looks a little tacky. I like using the other style, but the problem with them is they blow out a lot. So, but we can reuse that gasket there. I'm not too worried about it. But don't worry, I am putting new head gaskets on it because these have already been torqued down. And, you know, we're not going to be dumb about this here and reuse the gaskets, even though it's never been run. But, you know, once they're torqued down, they're done. You can't reuse them. That's just me. But I ain't going to show a whole lot, but I'm getting ready to get me a sandwich bag here. And I ain't really worried about keeping this stuff in order either. I'm not really worried about it. But I went through and loosened all those up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start pulling this thing apart here. And uh, get our Vortec hidden and start putting this thing together. Because I want to do this kind of quickly here so that, you know, it's not tore down and be down even longer. So... I'm still waiting on the intake. Hopefully that'll be here soon. So get that and I'm gonna start wrapping this thing up. So won't be too much longer. Yep. Not a whole lot to it. I'm just putting them in their bag right there. I'm not worried about keeping them in any specific order. Just like I said, this has never been run. It might have been turned over, but I don't, I'm not worried about it. It shouldn't hurt anything. So, I might keep the roller rockers in order. You know, not that it really matters, even though they're brand new. But, we'll see. Alright, simple as that. So, we're going to lay them just like this. One, two, three, four, half of them, and honestly, really. I don't know what I'm thinking here. We can't reuse these roller rockers anyway. Well, we could, but. You know, two, four, six, and then we need cylinder eight. Uh, yep. All right, simple as that. And I already loosened them up, so. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just we can't use them. So, all right, we just take our push rod out, and uh, I don't know why some folks think that it's cool to not pull these out. I just don't understand that. They'll sit there and take all the head bolts off, and turn all the rocker arm sideways, and leave the push rods in there, and then yank the head off. I never understood the concept of that because that messes up those good push rods right there. Even if they something's wrong with them, I just, no, I just don't understand, folks. I don't. But take your push rods out, you know, it's common sense. Why well, risk pulling that head off there and then bending them up? I don't know. I'm just particular about stuff. So, all right, I'm going to get this exhaust manifold off and get this head off here. By the way, if you're wondering, the rocker arm nut has in poly locks. That's a 5 8. So these right here are 5 8. That's all that is. Sometimes you got to take a little Allen key and loosen those up. You can loosen those up and then just back these out. So nothing simple. I mean, nothing uh, you know, crazy there. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. So yeah, those are 5 8. If you're wondering, head bolts are 5 8. 
So and I ended up, they are aftermarket head bolts. But, you know, I went in there and I'll replace them. I will reuse those. I don't see why not because this engine was never run with these cylinder heads. So I don't see an issue there. And then these are 9 sixteenths. So good old American standard stuff there. There's two. So, yes, I know I'm missing some block washers things like that i'm not worried about that stuff so this exhaust manifold was just bolted on just to keep moisture and everything out of it but you know i'll be able to do this within about i think we're about 25 minutes here we already get an exhaust manifold off just about all right, let me loosen up the mother few back there. And we're going to pop that thing off there. And then we're going to get this cylinder head the heck off here. All right, so there's the exhaust manifold. Get that off. Not a big deal. Yeah, I'm kind of using my Etzel as a workbench. I mean, I don't like doing that, but oh well. we got to paint the car anyway, so. Somebody was dropped a comment about that. So, exhaust manifold bolts. That's all them. So, pretty much good to go. There's missing one. Actually, missing two of them. There it is. Yep, should have five. Yes, I know it's six. Two, four, six. I know. But I was missing one to begin with. There's two middle ones. Yeah. All right, I gotta find one more bolt. But, or. Manifold gasket stayed on, so hopefully it'll come off. I hope I can get it off. Yep, we might get lucky. Heck yeah, we can reuse it. See, I never torqued it down, so. I don't think it, no, it didn't mess it up. Yeah, we're good. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we'll reuse that. See, it was never torqued down. I just snugged it up, so we're good on that. I don't like reusing gaskets, but exhaust manifold gaskets, I'm not that worried about. But head gaskets is a no-no. Don't ever use head gaskets. I don't care what anybody says. You do not use head gaskets. You can never reuse head gaskets. That should never even be thought of, so. But, yep. So, I know, I'm missing two spark plugs too, but I just kind of had this thing mocked up. I torqued the head down and adjusted the rocker arms, and that was about it. So, all right, we'll get the rest of this thing apart here. And uh, I know, it looks like it sludged up. It's still got a little sludge in it, but... See, so, that's kind of why, you know, spending the time and trying to do this thing right, so... Yep, I got that one loosened up. I know, kind of going ahead of the game there. I had to clean out every one of these head bolts. Oh, yeah, that's a good job. Yep, throw it around. Yes, I know what I'm doing. hard to do when you and film at the same time I'll probably think I'm crazy because I'm taking this head back apart but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna get the rest of these off just like that got all the head bolts out or loosened up the main there's one they got another short one in the corner back there two short ones there and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can get it out. Seven. Okay. That's all the top ones. Let's 
So and then you got the bottom one, seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should have 17 bolts total. Yep, she's ready to come on off there. So, get that bad boy off there. It should be already at least. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, it's good. It's already at least. Alrighty, we'll pull that bad boy on off there. And then we're going to start prepping our Vortex kid. We're going to do one set at a time. Because it might take me a day or two to do this. Hopefully not, but I'm going to go ahead and pull the cylinder head off here. Y'all can see there, right? All right, sorry for the kind of crappy view there, but we're going and make sure that thing is loose, and it is. And I'm just gonna climb on up here and just the anchor right on off, so just like that. Nothing to it. We'll take a look at our cylinder head here. And make sure nothing bad happened. Got here. Well, we could reuse it, but I'm not going to. There's no reason to. Yep. So awesome. Hopefully, the surface will be easy to clean up. I hope I didn't. Oh, oh Lord, yeah. Awesome. Alright, we'll leave it on up there. Heck yeah. Yeah, this surface clean up real good. Yep, I'm, I'm glad to get rid of this head. I just don't feel comfortable with it. And I just kind of ruined it, really. But it's not so much the ports. I think the ports would be all right. It's just this. So. But we'll save them. We'll put them on something else. I'll put them back on that 305 that I got. So. Yep. Alrighty, so I'm going to start cleaning this stuff on up here and uh, we'll get this one Vortec head put on. Like I said, I want to take the time and do one side at a time so it's done correctly and I'll be done with it. So, alright, not a whole lot to show on this one, but I'll see you on the next part. And I will go on and we'll reuse all the head bolts so I have to wire wheel all this back off. So that, and I'll have to clean all the threads back out in the block. So, yep. I'm just glad I caught it before I run it. So, now I gotta do all the prep work, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. I'm gonna chase all the threads out, clean the surface of the deck of the block up, and I might even take a little high heat paint and throw on the bottom of the block. We'll see. Alright, see you on the next part. Getting our Vortec heads put on. Trying to do this quickly and fast.